Greetings and thank you so much for this opportunity to come to you and spend a few moments with you in the Word of God and in prayer. And today, this week, we're talking about mindset. And today, I want to talk about having a possibility mindset. I think the best way to illustrate what uh, we're talking about or trying to communicate today is to look at that incident in the ministry of Jesus. And you read this in the Gospels, in John chapter 6, um, also in Matthew 14, where Jesus fed the 5,000 people or men besides women and children. In John's account, Jesus, you know, the, the crowd has been with him now for three days and he, um, the disciples come and say, you know, Lord, let's send the people away. They've been with us for a long time. But then Jesus says, you know, you give them something to eat. And uh, they obviously are taken aback by that suggestion or that command or that instruction from the Lord. How are we going to give more than 5,000 people something to eat out here? You know, and immediately Andrew goes into his uh, accounting mindset. He says, you know, Lord, uh, he probably does his calculation. He says, even if, have, even if we have so much money, uh, we will not be able to buy the bread and the food that we need. So he's done his calculations, probably, you know, thought through on this and said, oh, this is not, it's not going to work. Even if we had the money, there's no place we can go buy the food that's needed to feed all of these people. So that's the Andrew mindset, very logical, very, you know, pragmatic, so on. But there's another person called Philip. And we don't know exactly what went through his mind, but there seems to be this indication that he had this sense of possibility. What does Philip do? He gets the food that a little boy was carrying. And he comes to the Lord and says, Lord, uh, we've got this here. We've got five loaves and two fish. Perhaps something can be done. There's a possibility there. You know, he's thinking like, okay, we've got something to start with. This is obviously not what we need. It's far short of what we need. But there's a possibility here. We've got five loaves, two fish. And then Jesus tells them, okay, tell the people to sit down. He gives thanks. And he tells them to go out and distribute it. So I'm just thinking about Philip. What must have gone through his mind when he brought five loaves and two fish to Jesus? Perhaps, and I'm not sure, but perhaps he's thinking in terms of possibilities. There's a little here, but there's something big that can come out of it if I put it in the hands of Jesus. Perhaps something to start with. He must have been thinking in terms of possibilities and that's something I want to encourage us to do. Have a possibility mindset. You've got something little, you've got something small, a little talent here, a little gift there, a little opportunity, a little finances, uh, a little energy, a little strength. But what would that amount to if it was placed in the hands of Jesus? That's possibility thinking. Think in terms of possibilities. Or what God can do with a little we have. Have a possibility mindset because of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that in every circumstance you'll help us see possibilities. To see, Lord, not the closed door, but the opportunity that could happen. That doors could open. Ways could be made. Because you are in charge. Help us to see and think in terms of possibilities. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.